breast cancer survivor Doris Webb spent an hour in the waiting room for a doctor's appointment she made a year in advance. And they finally put me in a room and I told her when she put me in there, I said, I'll wait 10 more minutes because I've been here an hour. And in 10 minutes, I still hadn't seen the oncologist. So I went out front and asked for my copay back and told them I had waited long enough. A nationwide Angie's List poll found Webb was not alone in her experience. We did a recent Angie's List poll and 65% of the respondents said they'd waited an hour or more to see a healthcare professional. But what was more alarming in the poll was that 37% of them, when they got in to see the doctor, actually felt rushed and didn't ask the questions they probably should have, which just means they're probably not getting the care that they really need. And those times could get worse. Many healthcare experts and providers tell Angie's List they expect wait times to increase. The problem, not enough doctors to meet demands of more patients. There was no apology, but one of their employees had told me that they were triple booked that day. There are steps you can take to help you and your family stay healthy and on schedule. The poll also found that 70% of the respondents didn't know ahead of time that their doctor was running late and 55% didn't receive an apology that they were running late. So the key here is to check in with the doctor's office before you show up. Find out whether they're running late so that you can adjust your schedule as well. Additionally, ask if there's any paperwork that's going to be need needed to fill out ahead of time because you could do that maybe from home so that you're not spending your time in the waiting room. Well, you, you just feel like you're a number. I didn't feel like I was getting good patient care. That How could you if they were triple booked? Preventative care is the key to good health, so you don't want to skip going to the doctor, but when you are scheduling, plan ahead. If you can, see if you can get into the doctor first thing in the morning. Right at the beginning of the day, they can't be behind. Additionally, right after lunch is a good spot because they've taken a break and likely have caught up. Also, if you're finding it hard to get in to see your doctor, they might have a nurse practitioner that can help with everyday routine issues. Angie's List recommends consumers treat healthcare just like any other hiring decision. If you're still having problems after talking to your doctor, find a new one. There are many great health providers available. For ABC 10 News This Morning, I'm Molly Smirka.